In this video, we're going to take an initial look at layers in Photoshop. Now you'll notice that when you first add your image, you get this background layer. So you'll notice that that's the very first thing you get. You'll also notice that you get this little thumbnail that's inside of it. So every layer will have some sort of thumbnail in it. Now I also want you to notice that initially your first layer is always partially locked. And if you hover over that, that's what it'll say. And that's because they really don't want you to destroy the integrity of your first layer. Because after all, if you destroy that or somehow ruin it, you won't have anything to go back to. So the first thing you want to do is right click on this background layer and duplicate the layer and you can call it whatever you want. In this case, we'll just call it background copy, which of course is the default. So hit okay to that. And you'll notice now we have an exact duplicate of our background layer. So that means we'll never actually touch this layer. Now you'll notice when we duplicated that layer, take a look, it's not locked. So you can basically do anything you want to this layer. And if we flip back and forth between the layers, take a look at how these are grayed out. That's what happens when your layer is locked. Now if we click on the duplicated layer, we have all of the options available since, as I said, it is not in a locked state. Now let's say you made some changes to this layer and you were pleased with the changes you made and you wanted to protect it. Well, you can go ahead and lock it. So you just hit this lock button right here and you'll notice now it's locked. Now watch what happens when we try to alter this layer. You'll see that we could not because the layer is locked. So that's what it means when you lock a layer. Now if you want to unlock it, you can just hover over the locked icon again and click it and then everything is back to normal. Now there are many ways to add layers. You just saw one where we duplicated the layer. But you can also add them in many different ways. In the previous video, we added an adjustment layer and that's one way to add it. Another way to add it is to simply use certain tools over here. So let's go ahead and put some text on here. As soon as we did that, we actually got a text layer. Did you notice that? It created it for us. So that's one way you can add a layer by using some of the tools over here. It'll simply add it for you. So let's go ahead and type in some text and actually let's increase the size of this to 60 and let's actually make this red over here so it stands out. And let's just type in test. There we go. And let's actually go ahead and just drag it up here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and duplicate this and we'll just call this test copy. And let's go ahead and change the text of this to white. There we go. So now we've got two text layers. Now what I want to show you is this little eye over here is a visibility option and this is very useful. Let's say that you want to see how one layer looks without having to look at the other layer. So for instance, let's say we don't want to see this white text anymore. We can simply deselect that and look, now all we see is the red text. So this is very useful, especially let's say you want to have a couple different designs and you want to compare them. You can actually flip between them using the visibility option. So this is very, very useful in terms of layers. Now one thing I want you to notice right away is, notice we only have a text icon in here. That's because this is what you call a transparent layer. In other words, the difference between this background copy and this text layer we added is that think of this as more of a thin transparent sheet that's on top of our background copy. In other words, when we duplicated this first background layer, we made an exact duplicate. So all the pixels were copied, but this text layer is more of a standalone add-on that does not in any way affect our original image. Essentially, think of them as transparent sheets that are stacked on top of each other. So that's an important thing to note. And if you think about it, since this background copy is an exact copy of the original background we had, we actually can't see this original background, even though it's technically there, because this background copy is an exact duplicate of it. So all of the transparent layers that we add onto this will work against this background copy. We actually technically can't see this original background layer that we added. So that's a really good way to think of layers that you add on to your image. These are like transparent sheets that are stacked on top of each other and they go in a top-down order. Now you can move these around if you want. Take a look at that. We can move these layers around if you want to do that. But what you can't do is move it below the original layer. See how it prevents us from doing that? Now, as I mentioned before, there are many different ways to add layers. We duplicated a layer over here. We actually dragged in a text layer over here. And as you know, we can add them up here as well. So let's go ahead and add a layer. Let's go down to a new adjustment layer. And as you know, in a previous lecture, we added a levels layer, but let's go ahead and add a black and white layer and watch what happens when we do that. So let's hit okay and take a look at that. See how our photo now is in black and white? And let's say you wanted to see the original image. Well, again, you can use this visibility option. We can just turn that right on and off like that. See that? And take a look at the thumbnail here. It's blank. 
That is because this is an adjustment layer. And an adjustment layer is a special kind of Photoshop layer. They do not actually have content of their own. Again, the actual content is the original photograph that we have in these two layers. So if you think of it, this adjustment layer is not the original image. The original image are in these two layers. But that's what this adjustment layer allows us to do. It allows us to change the color if we want. In this case, we're making it black and white. But you can do many other things. You can change the contrast, change the color, put in filters, all kinds of things you can do. But the key here is you're not affecting the original image. That's why this is a very, very important tool in Photoshop. And this is where the real power of layers is. Let's say you just wanted to make some adjustments to this black and white layer, but you didn't want to touch the text. Well, that's the power of layers. You can just make adjustments to this black and white layer without affecting anything else in the image. And again, you can add as many different layers as you want. So let's go ahead and add a new adjustment layer. And let's do a photo filter. And we'll hit OK to this and we added a little orange tint to that. See that? So again, you could flip around these different layers and make the adjustments accordingly to that specific layer without affecting the rest of the photograph. So that is the power of layers. It is very, very powerful, and it's what really sets Photoshop apart from its competitors. Okay, we'll continue on with layers in the next video. Thank you.